a second night of violence in central Beirut. Tear gas was again used by security forces to disperse protesters who were outside Parliament Square. They had gathered here in a show of defiance. A day earlier, Parliament police used what Amnesty International described as excessive force against an overwhelmingly peaceful protest. Many now fear state intimidation against the leaderless protest movement is growing. I don't think it's possible for people to see uh, the, the way that they, the aggression and the way that they treated protesters yesterday and to kind of turn a blind eye. Uh, even if they were uh, afraid, it seems like they understand that unity and numbers are really what can create uh, momentum and that can keep us going. Dana was among the dozens of protesters beaten up by security forces during Saturday night's confrontations, the worst since the uprising began in mid-October. Both sides accused each other of instigating the violence. There are fears this could be the beginning of a new phase in what has largely been a peaceful opposition movement. There seems to be a decision by those in power for the army and security forces to confront the protesters. This is dangerous. From the start of the uprising, the army took a decision not to be harsh with the protesters. But the situation has changed in the past few days. Politicians are making it clear they will not stand down. Agreeing to the demands of the protesters would mean giving up power. They have long benefited from the sectarian-based system of government by exploiting the state's resources, allowing them to maintain support in their communities. Instead, the politicians are bargaining among themselves over the makeup of the next government. The lack of government makes it difficult to pull Lebanon out of its worst economic crisis in decades, which is why the protests began. We're not going for weapons. We only need our needs. We're asking for our needs for hospitality, for our hospital, for our medication, to eat, to have job. All people here are, with, are jobless. All people. And who are working, they are having half their salaries. This is another life. <laughs> Their calls for change are not being heard. Politicians seem to be sending a message that they are ready to use whatever means necessary, including force, to protect their power. Zanakhudar al-Jazeera, Beirut.